Here we are with a replay, a Skaven mirror between myself and the Gentle Rat. It was on one of our live streams. I forget what tournament we were playing in, but uh, we ended up in Skaven mirror. I traditionally hate the Skaven mirror. I think it is very dumb and unfun. It is very much coin flip on what kind of build you bring. But this one ended up being good, so I thought I would cast a very rare, a rare mirror. All right. For my force, I brought four Warplocked Zales, two Poison Wind Globes, a front line of Skaven Slaves and Skaven Slave Spears, uh, three Wolf Rats, three Rat Ogres, a Pack Master to support these guys. Give him, I believe I took his healing? Yeah. He has his healing, but also I really, really like the Shock Collar for winning uh, those flank fights. Do have a Foot Grace here. I wanted a caster, and I wanted a very cheap Lord. But um, I didn't want him on his bell because if my opponent brought a bunch of Warp Lightning Cannons or Gisales, then he's just a really big target. So I brought him on foot. And yeah. On the other side for Gentle Rat, we have another front line of Skaven Slaves. We do have a Warlock Engineer with Scorch and Warp Lightning. We have four Wolf Rats. It looks like four Rat Ogres. Natty Boobo Sharpshooters in the very far back. And then Throt the Unclean and Gorich for a very elite single entity core. So I haven't fully realized that the Natty Boobos exist yet. <laughs> I don't know how they took damage, but I haven't been able to see them. They were stalked for a long time, so... Yeah. The Molder engagement has happened. Now the Gentle Rat sends some of his Wolf Rats a little too far ahead, so I do get a freebie there. But the rest are in now. My Rat Ogres and Wolf Rats might be soon overwhelmed as our Gisales start to fall back. Wolf Rats and Rat Ogres will have to deal with this Rat Ogre some, and as more Rat Ogres get onto my Gisales, and in the distance, I do send some dogs to go deal with Natty Boobos now that I've realized they exist. Our Globes and our Gisales are trying to find Safe Harbor somewhere. Somewhere to be. And I throw down a Dreaded 13th Summon over here just for some Halberds in the middle of all of these Molder Monsters. I figured it would be a good place for them. Now for the Green Skaven, my Skaven, we're, we're in a bit of trouble. I think my Wolf Rats, I, did, I didn't give them attack orders, I gave them movement orders, so they're just sitting AFK for a second, but they'll figure it out. There they go. They're going to go kill those things now. We have two Gisales who are safe and firing. Our Wolf Rats and our Rat Ogres are trying to peel for this third Gisale and save it. Meanwhile, the Rat Ogres here, Gisales saved that one, so we've gotten some Poisoning Gloves back. Packmaster got bodied by Gorich and is now running away for his life while Rat Ogres fight my Stormburn Halberd Summon. The entire Natty Booba Sharpshooters team is getting eaten alive by those Wolf Rats, so it's a big value trade for me. Still, balance power is about even. I would say I would rather be Gentle Rat than myself. I'd rather be the Red Skaven here. As um, they have dogs that can chase my Gisales, dogs that can chase my dogs. Things aren't going great. A lot of my money and power was invested in these weapons teams, which then I got Boulder Rushed, so rip in peace. Was not happy. When I saw his build, I was like, ah, fuck, this is over. A very healthy wolf rat is returning now after Natty Boobo sharpshooters have been eaten alive. So that's nice. Did chuck out a summon. And the Scorch is going to hit that summon. Rest in peace, summon. And uh, Gorich is chasing down my Grace here, so I do have to rally my Packmaster to save him. Terror will take him away from here as the Packmaster and two Gisele teams are fucking up Gorich. They were not about it. They're very done with his shit and they want to get rid of him. Which we will do, it looks like. He does route nice, and my Gracier will stop tear out eventually and come home. So we're trying to finish off Gorich before we can get any healing or something. Uh, there is Remoldered, so let's see how that goes. I actually don't remember how this went. This was... We played this game like two weeks ago, so I don't really remember what takes place too much. Packmaster was trying to chase off Gorich and is now beset by Rat Ogres and Throt. Though Rat Ogres are still Skaven units, they very easily tear out away. And Gorich is getting a little far away from any of my forces. Better than I would like. There we go. Some wolf rats are going to go chase him off. Make sure he's taken care of. Packmaster needs to run away from Throt. Throt's actually faster due to having poisoned my little Packmaster friend. Um, I will try to get away. It looks like Throt is happy to let me go. And he will instead try to snipe up my Grace here. Which is real bad. On the backfield we have Rat Ogres. Giselle's trying to rally. But it's a bit of a rallying Molder Monster mash back here. As all the Molder Monsters that are back there are not having a good time. Throt's still chasing my guys, summon some clan rats to try and keep him safe, and then Gisele's going to shoot a Throt at point blank range, which will distract Throt into them, while my Packbuster runs around in circles trying to hit the Warlock Engineer. Gorch is still getting chased off by Wolf Rats, Balance of Power is still dead even, as dogs take out my Gisele's and my Rat Ogres finish off some other Wolf Rats, but a very wounded Rat Ogre will try and fight my healthy one. I should be able to win that just because, I mean, they're literally the same unit, mine's much healthier. 
Packmaster's charging back in. Trying to let him heal up a little bit while also hitting that Warlock Engineer from time to time. But whenever Throt comes over to see me, I do need to run away. So Packmaster takes a little bit of damage and then he starts to run for his life. Wolfrats are back. Very healthy. I think this is the Wolfrat that killed Natty Bubos and then it also got to chase off Gorch. So it's getting a ton of value just by what it is chasing. Gisales are attacked by wolf rats, and they do manage to protect themselves, routing those guys off while the rat ogres take care of the other one. In that instance, we do have an almost full health scaven slave spear that will need to come home. I think it was just chasing some clan rats off or something. And Gisales take care of more wolf rats. They're trying to protect themselves. Nice warp lightning cast from my opponent, though it is onto a summon. It's not as big of a deal as the warlock engineer and Gracier battle it out. I mean, there is a rat ogre here, but he's so close to routing, I kind of don't factor him in too much. Throck gets rid of one of my Gisales. The other Giselle that has rallied up on the hill is firing at Throt, trying to get some damage down while Wolf Rats peel for them, charging into the other Wolf Rats. Unfortunately, not as much impact damage, so the Wolf Rats do mostly just pile through, but immediately they shatter, so hopefully the Giselles will be okay. Rat Ogre fades away as it terror routes away from the Packmaster, who is still fighting Throt, trying to buy the Gracier a little bit of time. Now I tell my Packmaster to run away. We'll see how far he actually gets, but we do have two Gisales that can fire on Throt. One is the other one shooting at these Rat Ogres, and a very healthy Rat Ogre is coming back. For the Green Skaven, me, things are looking good. Bounce power slightly in my favor. Packmaster's going to route, and another Clan Rat summon, plus some Wolf Rats are going to eat alive uh, the Warlock Engineer. I did see a Warp Lightning coming down. My Wolf Rats try and dodge it, but they do take a big amount of damage regardless. They're kind of waddling. Oh no, those were Clan Rats. Okay, the Wolf Rats didn't try to dodge it. One of the Gisales is routed. The other Gisales is shooting Throt while he charges the Gracier, who's trying to run away. And Throt knocks him away, providing a little bit more safety. Packmaster's back. I just need him to heal up for a little bit. And Gisales continue to try and punish the big man. Balance power is now shifted back to the middle, maybe even slightly favored for my opponent. As Throt's going to be a problem in the late game. He's going to be a very big problem. Giselle's trying to shoot the Warlock Engineer by Rat Ogres are ignoring him because he's such a small target that they tend to really struggle to actually connect with him. Um, so, yeah. Do I have Shock Collar? I feel like Shock Collar would be good here. Must be on cooldown or something. Or I used it on... I might have used it on this guy to keep him in the fight when he rallied. I didn't want him to run away. Packmaster charges back in, takes a big shot, and a Warp Lightning is coming down right where some of my clan rats. That's going to be pretty nasty damage, and my Packmaster straight up shatters, but the Warlock Engineer is also broken. Wolf Rats sweep down to deal with these Skaven Slave Spears as other Skaven Slaves catch my Gisales. I thought the Wolf Rats would be quicker about this, so as soon as they route those Spears, they sprint immediately over to hit those Skaven Slaves and get them off of my Warlock, uh, Warp Lock Gisales. We have two Gisales left. Both very injured, but they will shoot at Throt. Bounce power is back in my favor a little bit. But, I mean, we are getting held up by some scum, uh, some scummins. Yes, scummins. Summons. I'm all out of Vermintide summons. I have one Dreaded 13th left, but I don't know if I have the Winds of Magic for it. Giselles are both trying to punish Throt. His healing cap is within sight, but he's still got a lot of healing left, considering how late we are in the game. Throt charges forward. And looking at the battlefield, we have one quite injured Rat Ogre. A fake Clan Rat. Two Gisales who are running low on ammo, models, health, and leadership. One of them even just shatters outright. I think I mentioned the half-health wolf rat. We have a two-thirds health Skaven Slave Spear. My opponent, half-health Skaven Slave Spear, an almost-dead Warlock Engineer who is routing, and an almost-dead Throt who is clinging to his life. Gisales are still firing his last of my rat ogres continue to battle Throt. His leadership is dipping so, so low. My Gracier does have the minus four leadership aura if I can get him into a late-game fight. Warlock Engineer down to 8 HP. He is dead. No more uh, casting for my opponent, which breaks his uh, balance power quite low. Gisales turn back to fire. They were firing briefly on these Game and Slave Spears. You can see with the Shield Breaker is how you know they were firing on him, so that my Wolf Rats didn't have to eat damage on the charge. But I decide it's not worth their time. I know I have to get over here and deal with Throt. So he's trying to dodge some shots for my Gisales as he comes, brings his way down. We have Wolf Rats charging back in. Skaven Slave Spears also trying to get over here. And immediately, my Gisales route. So I think I'm going to opt out of this fight. Yeah, I send my Wolf Rats to regroup with the Spears. And my Gracier is also shambling over there while Throck cleans up the Gisales. We just know we can't. We can't get there in time to save them. 
Um, if I do send my wolf rats over there, they'll just immediately tear out. Now, why was I sending my rat ogres over there? I was worried Throt would target them, and I don't want them to get rear charged. So if he targets them at all, I know I have to charge them, or they'll get nothing done and just die for free. Now, Throt is charging them, and I give them orders to attack him once again. This gives them a little leadership buff when they're charging something, and it's like, well, better to get a little bit of value on your way out than get literally none. So rat ogres are fighting, and since they're holding, I want to offer some reinforcements. I will throw my wolf rats at them. My Grace here is desperately trying to get up here for his leadership aura, the encourage aura. He wants to get there, and he also wants to give his uh, minus leadership aura to Throt. So leadership both ways. As Throt's getting very low, my Gisales did rally for a second, but they are gone now. And Throt's so low, I just want to break him. I just want to break him, but he gets a downhill charge on my Grace here, knocking him away. But Throt gets real low, and he goes negative, and he does shatter and we, take, we pick it up. But man, if those Rat Ogres hadn't held like absolute champions, we would have been in some serious trouble. Because if Throt had got like two shots on my Grace here, he would have killed him. Hell, even one shot might have routed him. But it was a good game. It was a good mirror. And uh, Wolf Rats. Wolf Rats are very important in the Vampire Coast matchup, but also the Skaven mirror. Uh, for the Grace here, not a lot of value, though we did throw out a ton of summons. Giselles, you can see which two at the start of the game got shut down by that Molder charge, and which two were able to flee. 1800 value and 2100 value are the ones that stayed alive. Packmaster did well. Um, he's not going to show it in his value, but he was very supportive. He was very distracting for the enemy to deal with. Rat Ogres overall did fine. Globes got shut down too quick to really do too much, and Wolf Rats. The one that hung around till the very end got almost 2000 value. So, very nice. Skaven Slaves just died. For the Gentle Rat, throughout the Unclean, 2,800 damage value. Gorich only 900. Uh, Natty Boob Sharpshooter just got shut down really early. The Warlock Engineer got uh, 180 kills with only 480 damage value, because Skaven Slaves are not worth it. And his Rat Ogres did not get as good a value as they got shot by Gisales. His Wolf Rats, however, got better value than mine overall. And uh, Skaven Slaves did fine. Yeah. Very GG. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.